Hey Cobras, I'm Levi. And I'm Ella. Welcome back to Vista Venom. Today we have stories on French National Launch Society, Venom Vision, and sports all coming up. Vista Venom, Venom strikes now. now. And now please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Do you need help with French class? Don't suffer in silence and sign up for French tutoring. Members from the French National Honor Society are here to help you every Wednesday online via Google Meet. Two sessions are available. 3 to 3.30 p.m. or 4 to 4.30 p.m. Please make an appointment with Miss V. She will provide you with the Google Meet link. Do you like to promote positivity and acceptance? Venom Vision students help spread positivity and create many of the events that happen at Park Vista, such as Mira Day Day, World Kindness Day, and many more. Please consider Park Vista Venom Vision Instagram page at EV underscore Venom Vision. For information about upcoming events, rallies, and other campus activities, remember, Park Vista is a place where our diversity makes us belong. The SGA Madden Tournament registration has been extended through today at 2 p.m. The format is still single elimination, but will begin at 10 a.m. on Tuesday, November 3rd, and end right before 2 p.m. tomorrow. After registration ends, Brackets will be made, then sent out via social media, and emails to registered participants. This event is now open to the public. All you need is Madden 20, a PS4, and the $6 registration fee. Contact SGA members or Ms. Lamb for more information. College visits are a great way to open up paths and ideas for your future. Please visit the Park Vista website if you're interested in seeing the college of your choice. Many colleges have virtual visits, such as FAU, the University of Miami, FSU, and Ohio State. Don't miss out on this very informational visit, as it might give you plenty of ideas of what you could do in the future. Here's your green tip of the week. Staying hydrated is important. But have you ever thought about the environmental or health consequences from drinking from plastic disposable bottles? According to the Pacific Institute, making bottles to meet Americans' demand for bottled water requires more than 17 million barrels of oil annually. 50 billion water bottles are purchased in the U.S. each year, and 80% of these water bottles, or 40 billion, get thrown out into landfills. That's 140 million daily. With this, Park Vista's Environmental Club encourages you to Boya. Bring your own bottle for your health and for the health of the planet. Students, faculty, and staff, have you checked out the Cobra Chronicle? If not, you can find it right on, it right on the Park Vista website. All you need to do is navigate to the student and parent tab and there's a link to the website. This Thursday and Friday, the student government for the class of 2023 will be showing their class pride by wearing their 2023 shirts. If you're interested in purchasing a class of 2023 shirt, go to School Cash Online and pick one up. Shirts are $20 with an included membership fee. After purchasing, you can represent your class in the courtyard. Are you interested in joining the STEP team? Come to room 5212 on Thursday, November 5th at 3 p.m. for an inf informational meeting. If you can't make it in person, please join the Google Meet. Park Vista Sports are back in action. Here's Tarlia with the sport updates for the week. Hey 
Cobras, I'm Carlia, and welcome to Vista Venom Sports. The Park Vista girls swim team defeated John I. Leonard on Friday, and the boys defeated Forest Hill. Great swims by captains Jonathan Guy, Kennedy Weege, Jenna Scognamillo, and Kira Pesha. Our athletes of the week for swim were Emma Castile, because she made an excellent transition from diver to swimmer and has a solid attitude and commitment, and Brendan Marcellos, because he has a great commitment to practices and is willing to do whatever it takes to help the team earn points. Your Cobra bowling teams did it again. They racked up 15 to zero games against St. Andrews. Captain Emily Collins had a match high of 157 for the girls and Captain Peyton Doyle had the match high for the boys with a 221. The girls varsity volleyball team has a home game today against Olympic Heights at 6 p.m. Tomorrow, November 3rd, the boys golf team has a match at 4 p.m. against Suncoast. The girls have a home match against West Boca at 2 p.m. On Wednesday, the freshman girls volleyball team has a game at Olympic Heights at 6 p.m. and the junior varsity girls volleyball team has a game at Olympic Heights at 7 p.m. On Thursday, the girls varsity volleyball team has a game against Olympic Heights at 6 p.m. This Saturday, November 7th, the football team will be facing off against Seminole Ridge at 10.30 a.m. Are you interested in trying out a new sport? Well, here are the sports you can try out for this month. Tryouts for girls and boys soccer begin on on the 9th at 3.15 p.m. Tryouts for wrestling also begins on the 9th at 3 p.m. Conditioning for girls basketball will begin on November 4th and end on November 6th. Tryouts will be on Monday, November 9th from 3 to 5 p.m. Make sure you have all your forms turned into the main office by November 4th. Good luck to all of our Cobras and thank you for watching. Now back to Levi and Ella with the news. Thank you for watching. See you next week. Have a great day. Here today, in Cobra Country.